So let's continue our understanding of the pharyngeal apparatus. When I first learned about the pharyngeal apparatus, my focus was the cranial nerves and which structures are adjacent to that cranial nerve. But recently I watched a video by Baron Rocks where he shows a genius way of learning the pharyngeal apparatus with a mnemonic. So I kind of took his idea and combined with mine and came up with this method of learning the pharyngeal apparatus. So hope you hope you like it. Um, so first of all, I have the arches written down here. This is the arch of aorta, pulmonary artery, and this is the ductus arteriosus. This is the pharyngeal apparatus, and this is the mnemonic we're going to use today. The mnemonic says, make some important, important stuff. Now, stuff, you see it has an SH here. It's because the 4 and 6 shares some of the structures. So that's why it's shared, hence stuff. First, let me write down the cranial nerves associated with these brachial arches. So cranial nerve 1, uh, sorry, brachial arch 1 is going to give rise to cranial nerve 5. 2 is going to give rise to 7. 3 is going to give rise to 9. And 4 and 6 is going to be 10. Okay, both of them is going to be 10. See how it's skipping 1 until 9 and 10? So 5 skipped 6, 7 skipped 8, 9, and then 10. So far, not so hard, right? Now let's talk about the artery. This is where the mnemonic really plays a good part. So you see how it says make some important? We're going to use until here onto our artery uh, mnemonic. So the first one says M, make. So M for maxillary. M for maxillary. That's brachial arch 1 gives rise to maxillary artery. Brachial arch 2 gives rise to S or stapedial artery. Stapedial artery, that's brachial arch 2. Brachial arch 3 gives rise to ICA. ICA or internal carotid artery. And 4 and 6 has a bunch of arteries. So let's go with 4 first. For 4, so we have the right subclavian artery and the arch of aorta. That is supplied by 4. So let's look at our diagram to see where that lies. So this would be our right subclavian artery. And this is the arch of aorta. These two structures are just going to arise from brachial arch 4. Notice that this is the internal carotid, the right internal carotid. This is the left internal carotid. This is the left subclavian. This is the, this is the pulmonary artery until here. And this is the patent ductus. Okay. Also notice that the right subclavian artery is stemming from the common carotid, where the left subclavian artery is coming from the distal end of the arch of aorta. So that is a little anatomical difference between the two. I just thought I should mention it here. So anyways, look, let's go back to our brachial arch 4. That gives rise to right subclavian artery and arch of aorta. What about the common carotid, the, the, the right common carotid? Which brachial arch gives rise to right common carotid? You see number three, arch number three gives rise to internal carotid? Well, common carotid later becomes internal carotid. So the internal carotid is going to arise from brachial arch three. So the pink shaded area is going to be supplied by brachial arch 3. The green shaded area is going to be supplied by brachial arch 4. Moving on to brachial arch 6. 
So for 6 we have 6 is going to give rise to pulmonary arteries and ductus arteriosus. So you see that this is the pulmonary artery and this is the ductus arteriosus. So this region is going to be supplied by brachial arch 6. Okay, so now let's take a look here. The pink area was supplied by brachial arch 3. Okay, so let me write 3 here. This green shaded area is supplied by brachial arch 4. And this shaded area is supplied by brachial arch 6. So it kind of follows, which it kind of follows like it's coming down in a way in terms of numbers. It follows that pattern. So whenever I'm thinking of brachial apparatus or pharyngeal apparatus, I think about this pattern that, okay, 3 is going to be at the top. 4 is going to be right below that and followed by 6. That pattern of thinking helps me remember where the different different arteries are. So let's say, you know, in your question, instead of saying internal carotid artery, you had right common carotid artery and you had to sit down there and figure out how am I going to know? I learned from a mnemonic that brachial arch 3 is supplied by internal carotid. How do I know if right common carotid artery is deriving from brachial arch 3? How do I know that? Well, you can use this pattern of thinking that, okay, well, common carotid comes from brachial arch 3. Internal carotid uh, is derived from the common carotid. So internal, the right internal uh, common carotid must also come from brachial arch 3.